Hello everyone. Welcome to world tour number two. My name is Esmeralda Galvan. I'm doing this for history 303, uh, section number 01B for Dr. Baker's class for global slash historical geography. My world tour is for the Latin America group number two, and it will be over Ciudad Universitaria de Caracas, a UNESCO site located in Caracas, Venezuela. Let's begin. So this class, Rather, this presentation is aimed towards high schoolers. And in regards to that, my high schoolers say my potential classroom would be of a Spanish one class or an AP Spanish class. And we'll be doing this part of a surveying project of students surveying higher educational institutions throughout Latin America and also Hispanic America and His Hispania, so Spain. So this would be aimed towards freshmen and sophomore students. So last class, students, wake up, time to start class. We highlighted three distinct university campuses in Mexico and Guatemala. Universidad de Américas Puebla in Cholula, Puebla, Mexico. Universidad Michoacana de San Nicolás de Hidalgo, Morelia, Michoacán, Mexico. Accent slipping, it's fine. Universidad de San Carlos de Guatemala in Ciudad Guatemala of Guatemala. Following with our series surveying higher educational institutions in Latin America, we traveled down from Mexico to South America to one of the oldest educational institutions in the Western Hemisphere and still currently active. We go to Caracas, Venezuela. To clarify, before we get started and get further into it, the Ciudad Universitaria de Caracas is located in Caracas, is known as the acronym of the CUC. This is the main campus and the subject of our presentation today. The university itself is named Universidad Central de Venezuela and uses the acronym UCD. This is the educational institution that calls the CUC home. And to my high schoolers, remember like the other towards words in highlighted bold are going to be in the test next week. So take notes. And to my fellow classmates, you obviously don't have to take notes, but if y'all want to go for it. I'm all, all ears. Let's continue. My fellow classmates, this is a UNESCO site, otherwise Dr. Faker would have not approved it. Or we could argue our way into it, one or the other. So, UNESCO, but this is for my students, for my students. UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. And as a World Heritage Site, the CUC campus earned UNESCO status in the year 2000, so before I want to say my potential students were probably born. I was two years old. The UNESCO Council, sorry, organization, my bad, highlighted the campus being a modernist marvel of campus architecture. Keep in mind, this is one of the only other second campus actually, that actually has this distinction in Latin America related to modernism. Keeping that word in mind, modernism, not campus, we get into modernism. So the reason I bring up modernism is because there is always a mix up between modernism and modern art. There's always that mix up, especially with, I mean, I see it, you know, it's natural to assume that, but keep this in mind because it's a very specific set of parameters we're looking at here. To my students, modernism is an art movement that is from the late 19th century and 20th century. It rejects tradition and is unique in not following a specific formula. This is not to be mistaken with contemporary art, which is a late 20th and 21st century current art movement. Modernist artists include Pablo Picasso, Claude Monet, and Andy Warhol. You've probably seen this in, I know my fellow classmates, we've seen this in our art history courses, our art surveying courses. To my students, they're gonna see this eventually. So they're seeing it now. So that's modernism. Moving on to with modernism and that keeping that lens set, we have modernist architecture, which is the architectural portion of modernism. It emphasizes minimalism and functionalism over decoration. The CUC campus is one of the most successful modernist projects ever done in Latin America by one architect. Just one, just one. This is the Central University of Caracas. Established in 1721, the Central University of Caracas, the CUC, is one of the oldest educational institutions in the Western Hemisphere. 
It is 299 years old, older than Columbia University that was established in 1754. Next year, it'll celebrate its 300th birthday. Pretty cool. The university is similar into how the U.S. has higher educational institutions. Some fast facts. The address is Caracas 1053 in Bolivar, Venezuela. Still Caracas. Still Caracas. This is just a very specific way of they have their addresses set up. We're still there. We're still there. The UNESCO World Heritage Site inscription is in the year 2000. My students, please write this down. This is very important. It may even be the first question on your exam. And of course, in the top left, you can actually see the UNESCO insignia stamped on. What we're looking at here on the left is actually the campus map. And say if you were to be in the entrance by Los Chaguaramos, that's the first thing you'd see. The area is 405,750 acres. The climate, like most of Venezuela, is subtropical. And the architect, now we have a name, is a very important man named Carlos Raul Villanueva. Who is he? You ask me? We'll find out. We have him. The man, the myth, the legend, the architect. It will be impossible to talk about the CUC without mentioning the architect that created the campus. Señor Carlos Raúl Villanueva, born in the year 1900, passed in the year 1975, began his modernist project of the campus in 1944. He spent almost 26 years on campus as an architect, leading the project and design for the entire campus. This includes apartments, academic buildings, and here in the picture you can see where he's standing, the auditoriums. He is known as the father of Venezuelan modernism. His work earned acclaim from UNESCO. Following slides are going to be images of murals and buildings that are all modernist style located around campus done by both Carlos Raul Villanueva, his students, and Venezuelan artists. Here we go. Pay attention though, because this is gonna be one of the activities coming up in a few slides. Surprise, you're an architect. It is the year 1972 and you are now an architect for the Ciudad Universitaria de Caracas. Congratulations on the posting. You are commissioned by the school board with an unlimited budget to design a new building. It must be modernist. Think functionalism and practicality. Using the following images as inspiration, which are actually murals and buildings around the campus, design a building only using pen and paper in true architect fashion. Have fun. Okay, with this set of images though, I want you to look a little more carefully. Students, please look carefully. Here, in the left side, we have an architectural marvel that is the entire campus, of course, and we have the sculpture on the left side of the atleta. This is outside one of the stadiums approaching the area. But notice the building right behind the athlete, not the one in the left side, not the one on the right side, the one you can barely see. Notice the one right here. Notice of the lines that are set up below it, the columns. Notice of how the roof is just slanted downwards immediately. Just boom. Notice that. That's a basic architectural way of, of functionalism. Because where is the rain going to go when it rains? Will it go down the gutter where you can risk it getting stuck? Nope. Boom. Directly downwards. You can even see it here in the back of one of the campus buildings right here. It's very linear, very square, very rectangular. There's a sense of parallels in between each line. Even in the back, and this also is one of the really great ways to see the way of urban planning in the back since it is built near a mountainside. Look at the buildings. That's the downtown Caracas. That's the city. And here in the top right side, we have another outdoor architectural piece. I do not know which metal it's made of, but observe this. This here 
is an art piece, yes? It's an outdoor mural. But also notice the lines. Notice how each brick is set up in a certain way. Notice how slanted none of it is. None of it is slanted. It's very sharp, very linear. There is a sense of uniformity. It functions. Look at the middle image. There's lines, there's shapes, but at the same time, it's part of the outdoor part in the roof. But there's still tunnels you can walk around underneath, like hallways. There's that sense of functionality too. Look at the bottom right one. That's a mural inside one of the hallways. But notice how it just blends. There's lines, there's shapes, but there's a sense of functionality right there. That's modernist. This is how Carlos Raúl Villanueva blended art and architecture with modernism into this campus. That's what makes this campus so distinct. And here we have images of the campus. Some of the reels here, as the one you see in the top left corner, were designed by students. And here on the top right corner, you see one of the buildings that was designed by Carlos Raúl Villanueva. Bottom right, you see another sculpture. And in the back, in that red brick building, that is the library, or one of them, rather. Similar to how we have one back at Commerce. A little bit, just a little bit. And here on the left, you see the University Stadium. And there, one of the most popular sports is baseball, or baseball. And this is one of the images found for it. And the way it is set up is that it's part of the campus, but you can still look out into the city and some beautiful Venezuela mountain sites right there. Students, do you remember the Pablo Picasso painting I showed you in an earlier slide? Yes? So, keeping Guernica in mind, that's a modernist painting done in the modernist style and in a modernist time period, around the same time period that Senor Carlos Raúl Villanueva was active. In that same movement also came these art pieces we have here on the screen. On the right side, we have mosaic glass, almost knocked over my second copy. And on the left side, we have some more outdoor based pieces. The bottom one in the middle is actually in an outside tunnel exposed to the rest of the campus. The other one, as you can see, is a wall. But here, there is similarity and kind of a balance in the modernist art style that is seen all throughout campus. To summarize, the Ciudad Universitaria de Caracas campus is one of the most successful modernist projects in Latin America. We know this. What earned its UNESCO status was the urban planning and modernist architecture designed by Carlos Raúl Villanueva. We also know this. But what also sets it apart is that the CUC is still active. There are students learning in their classrooms right now, just like you. There are students learning in my classroom right now. High schoolers, please pay attention to this. That is what makes this site remarkable. It is still open, still running, and still has growth. It is almost 300 years old and still going strong. That's really cool.